Hello everyone, thank you for joining us at today's council meeting. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm opening a Zendikar Rising pre-release pack in order to build a sealed deck for a very cool sealed league that's going to be happening on the Geekified server. So as many of you know, Geekified is our sponsor. You can find them at geekified.us. We'll also have the information below. So with this... I will be able to, ooh, the dice are super cool. I'll be able to use the six packs to build my deck. And so this will be a two part video, but I can't use my promo. So save that aside. Ooh, so very cool. The, the promo is Valakut Awakening with the Stone Forge on the other side. So that'll be set aside and won't be part of the deck. But the pool will come from these six packs. Really didn't follow the pre-release or the spoilers to see what's happening with these. So I'm not sure what we're going to get. Into the Royal. Smite the Monstrous. Synchronized Spellcraft. Ooh, Blood Price. Kazandu Necro. Nectar Pot. Zebex spoiled that one in a pretty cool thing. Won't go through these too much in depth. Ooh, Relic Golem. Ooh, Verizal, the split current. I may very well end up playing Simic as a result. Because <laughs> that's kind of a fun one because you at least get two counters for what happens. And I'm seeing a lot of good blue cards and green cards, so... Well, but we'll see what happens with our other rares. So we've got Allied Assault, Taunting Arbor Mage, Akuum Warrior, and a Confounding Conundrum. Ooh, yeah, I am going to be playing Simic. And I love these new check cards. Those are, those are beautiful. Very, very useful. So I'm thinking, I'm leaning pretty heavily right now towards Simic. So that'll not be fun. Ooh, an alternative frame, Akum Hellhound. So Grotog, Night Runner. Core Blade Master, the McKinney Stampede, and a Grackma Skyclave Ravager. Ooh, that makes it a hard choice. Ooh, and we have a Tangled uh, Florahedron. Ooh, that's a rough one. And it's Land or Tangled Veil. Vale. So. That's an interesting card in a Drake token. So this one comes in untapped. Oh, so this is a, a creature that taps for mana, and this comes in tapped. I don't know why you wouldn't want to play it for the creature. It took me a second there to figure out what was going on with that flip card. Makes me feel a little bit old with some of this stuff. So again, we'll go through these fairly quickly. Seeing some decent artifacts. So we've got Soaring Thought Thief. Ooh, for Rogue Milling. Thwart the Grave. An Unfoil Tangled Florahedron. And Master of Winds. Okay, that's interesting. Scale the Heights. And an island. So I'll have to figure out what deck I'm going to play and I'll film that later and and have the video for that. So this will probably come out a bit later. We're not going to really do the prices on this because this is going to be more about playing than anything. So Roost of Drakes, Cargan War Leader, Shadow Stinger, and an Ameris call. Wow. 
the option being the land where you pay three life. Kind of expensive, so I don't know. I don't know how well those will work. Hoping to get some of those cool new lands that are either or, and they come in untapped. But we'll see what happens. Okay, Skyclave Pickaxe, Merfolk Falconeer, Kalani Ambush, and Adrana, the last Blood Chief. Ooh. Well, that makes it a lot harder. Maybe I will go three colors and include black because I do have. So, in addition to the Drana, I have the Verizal and the Grackma. I may do three colors. Well, thank you for watching, and now I will build the deck. we're back. So I'm going to go through the deck that I built real quick. And I've got these sorted by, by color. So of course I have to play my mythic that I got, Drana, the last blood chief. But I also have Niyama, Sky Dancer, it's a human rogue. Shadow Stinger, which is a vampire rogue. Expedition Sulker, vampire rogue. Drawn a Silencer, Vampire Rogue, and Blood Beckoning. Then I also went with blue, so I have Negate, Negate, Glacial Grasp, Confounding Conundrum, Into the Royal, and Into the Royal. Then for green, what we have is Scale the Heights, the Tangled uh, Florahedron, Tangled Florahedron, Adventure Awaits, might of Marasa, Strength of Solidarity, and a Kazandu Necropot. Then I have a couple of artifacts. So I have the Stonework Pack Beast. So this is also a Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, and Wizard. And I can filter mana. I have the Relic Golem. It can attack or block unless an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard. And you can pay two and tap to mill two cards. So it's a 6x for 3. I have Verisol, the Split Current. Grackma, the Skyclave Ravager. And Soaring Thought Thief. So this is why I'm playing all those rogues and creatures that can be rogues. Flash Flying, as long as an opponent has 8 or more cards in their graveyard. Rogues who control get plus 1, plus 0. And whenever one or more rogues who control attack, each opponent mills 2 cards. So, hoping in the next packs that I can get that, that very gross milling crab. And then I have forests, islands, and swamps to round out the deck for the mana base. So, thank you all for coming to today's video. And we hope you can join us in the Geekify Discord. You can also check them out at geekify.us. And hopefully we'll see you in the tournament with us. It's, it's going to be fun in the Sealed League. So thank you all for coming today. Um, if you want to see when our next video is, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification join, and join us in Discord. If you're looking for cards or you want to join the league, again, geekify.us. You can find them in the Geekify channel in our Discord as well as in the Geekify Discord. So thank you all for coming today, and the meeting is now adjourned. Have a great day.